to Aqueduct for three-year-old fillies in the Gazelle Stakes. Godolphin's dance card, the 8-5 to five favorite, Tom Durkin has the call. It's dance card on top. My Wandy's girl just glued to her second. Wildcat smile third. Lady Coiba in the clear fourth. And there goes book review now. Book review mounting an earnest bid. Now fifth on the outside. Just four lengths behind dance card and my Wandy's girl. Still at the back seal and then Jemima's pearl. Two and a half furlongs remaining here. Dance card still in front. Now beginning to get away. Dance card comes off the turn with the lead by a length and a half. My Wandy's girl is full out, but second, Lady Cohiba, then down inside, Wildcat Smile, and they're coming down to the final furlong, and Dance Card is drawing away. Ramon Dominguez stealing a peek back. Once again, Dance Card is drifting out, but once again, Dance Card is well in front. Dance Card scores again. The heavy favorite dance card by Gainsway Stag and Tappet rolls to a four-length victory over Longshot Sea Island, the fifth winner of the afternoon for Ramon Dominguez. The Keeneland Sells graduate clocked in 150 and one. After finishing second in her debut, the Kieran McLaughlin trainee has won her last four, including the front-running seven-and-a-half-length victory in the Belle Cherie Stakes at Belmont Park. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Bruce McMillan and is a full sister to a yearling colt which brought $700,000 at Keeneland in September. A $750,000 two-year-old dance card has earned $372,000. The filly was consigned by McMillan Sales to the 2010 Keeneland September Yearling Sale, where she was originally purchased by Vision Sales 2010 for $67,000. Grade 1 Gazelle Stakes winner dance card, the Keeneland Sells Graduate of the Week.